Tonight, I come to talk about crisis and opportunity, about rebuilding the nation, revitalizing our democracy, and winning the future for America. I stand here tonight one day shy of the 100th day of my administration, 100 days since I took the oath of office and lifted my hand off our family Bible and inherited a nation we all did that was in crisis, the worst pandemic in a century, the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. No. <laughs> Hold on. Tonight, off our family body in a century, the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression, the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. Now, oh, he said it. I mean, we played it twice. He said it twice. The worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. Does, does Joe Biden know when the Civil War was? Like, does he know? I'm just going to. Nah, man. I mean, it's only one civil war. 1861 to 1865. So, I guess this is like number two. You've got like civil war. And you've got like the last couple years, I guess. And then you have like 9-11. Or every other war on America? What are you doing, man? What is this guy saying? Help me understand. Help me understand. The greatest attack on our democracy since the Civil War. Who wrote this for Joe Biden? Who wrote this for Joe Biden? Did Joe Biden write it? Because he was like, wow, well, in my day, when I was in the Civil War. I remember it was a great attack. A great attack on our democracy. So, <sighs> just having like a hard time wrapping my head around the stuff that, that he says in public. Like, like, does anybody else out there feel like like, like your brain hurts after listening to Joe Biden? Sometimes my brain's like, nah, I ain't real. Like, that's not real. It didn't happen. But it did happen. It's very real. And it's on YouTube. And it's on whitehouse.gov. That's your president. You elected him. You were like, this is the guy. This is the guy who's going to undo all the orange man bags. We have to stop electing people who are like 80 years old. There was a lot of candidates. There was a lot. There's a lot of them that were not 80 years old. But, but it's like, it's like I want to itch my brain because it hurts. I want to, got to do something. We got to do something, America. You got to do something. You can't just let this slide. You can't look. Why? I think there was a couple guys who got mad about it. A couple guys who got mad about that he said it. Here's one uh, New York Post where um, then <laughs> ah, it was worse than January 6th was worse than 9-11 or Pearl Harbor or the Oklahoma City bombing or the dismantling of civil liberties in the name of the Cold War and War on Terror <laughs> or the mass surveillance program secretly and illegally Implemented by the NSA aimed at U.S. citizens. How about the war on drugs, the mass incarceration, and Jim Crow? <sighs> Were those 
worse attacks on democracy than the three-hour Capitol riot on January 6th. The assassination of JFK. The interference of domestic politics by the CIA. <laughs> There's literally a, a book of things worse than some people storming the Capitol. I mean, it's not ideal, but you just glazed over so many things. <laughs> so many things. Oh my God. I mean, that's all I got, man. That's all I got on this one. Just, just put him back in the cave. Just put him back. Put him back in the basement. Joe, back to the basement.